Hey guys, what's good? What's popping? Welcome to Centennial College. Today I'll be giving you guys a full campus tour. I will try my best and give you guys a full campus tour because the campus is so huge. Well, right there is the road. As you enter, you can see a cafe and a restaurant right here. This is a hospitality department. They're responsible for this cafe. I think most of the items sold in it is made by them. And they have that big Centennial College sign welcoming you guys. Let's make our way inside. So I'm going to try and do the outside first. Uh, it's so windy. I hope you guys can hear me. But there you can see the hospitality department. I think those are some mixers, baking mixers. Yeah, I have some classes going on here. And do the outside first and then I go inside. Uh, hopefully I can cover all the areas. So over here you have block A. This is under construction. It will be available in fall 2023. I think it's a six story building. It is massive. It starts from there and go all the way around. Over this side you have the event center. A lot of cool stuff inside. You have... Uh, you have a lot of cool stuff inside there. I'm gonna see if I can check it out after I'm finished. Uh, once again, this is block A under construction. Down there, you have the main building. I hope this video is not too long. <laughs> also okay you can see the hospitality right there also this is the residence so if you're living on campus trying to see the sign that shows the residence it's around the other side So you can see the sign there says avail uh, coming fall 2023. Yeah, the campus is already so huge. I am not sure why this part is being added. But there we have some parking lot. I think there is uh, six parking lots available. Oh, and you can see the residence sign right there. I'm gonna tour the outside before I go on the inside. Campus is divided into different blocks. Block A, B, C, D, E, F. And I think there's block L and block uh, yeah block p yeah so i'm going to show you guys the different blocks and what it entitles so upon entering the campus you have the lobby area at the front this is a bridge from the outside it's con it connects the the lobby area 
to the other blocks of the the building you see right here we have block B block C block C after leaving block C you're working your way around this area is so peaceful and calm it's just so beautiful and breathtaking I love to sit out here and listen to birds chirping but we're gonna get to all of that block D block E down that side and then there's a block F somewhere but there you have the student union uh, there's a bar and grill over there then there are some pool tables as well as a gym can definitely check that out there's a gym over there available to students that is so cool this is a student union before it was active but because of covid Some sitting areas over here. Some pool tables. the bar and grill <laughs> this area leads you to the gym the gym there's so many equipment so you have a basketball court a babylonton court and the football court is around the back There is so many sitting areas available for students. If you want to stay outside and chill, you can do that. Or you can stay on the inside if you want to uh, do some study time or work on the computer. Yeah, sitting areas on the outdoors. This is mainly accessible, of course, in the summer and springtime or fall, but not so much of the winter. have this beautiful fountain here and sit up here and enjoy the sound of the water so let's, uh, let's go on the inside another sitting area along this side I think it's empty right now you can 
and steer on here and chill. This is a quiet area. And my favorite of all is this right here. Look at this. This area right here is just amazing. Okay, so these computers are available to students. You can sit here and do an assignment if you didn't bring your laptop. More computers around here. This is the lobby area. And guys, this is a printer. There's a print. Well, yes, it is a printer. There's a printer available on each floor. You can print. Check this out, guys. Laptop. You can borrow a laptop for free. If you left your laptop at home, you can just come right here. Uh, tap your ID card and you can borrow a laptop for a few hours. When you tap your ID card, one of these jars open and you just take the laptop from it. If you don't return the laptop, then you get charged. Motto. It makes me smile. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your break. Thank you. Thanks. Of course, the library is a quiet area, but I'm gonna see if I can check out the library without being disturbing or disruptive. Guys, the library has three levels. This is the first floor, the second floor, and the third floor. I want to see if I can go check it out.
this is the bridge that leads you from the entrance to the lobby to the different blocks in the colleges it's basically a bridge but it's a covered bridge There you have block C. This is the student hub where you can get all your questions answered, financial needs, your courses, everything answered by right you. You have the list, these little study areas. If you don't have a class, you can just sit in here. And chill, do some assignments, do group work. You have classes like this, rooms like that for group meetup. And there's another one down here. So those spaces are just free for anyone that wanna go and just do their work, peace and quiet. College is very environmentally friendly. For each block, you can find at least 10 of these one for waste, one for paper, and one for bottles. Touring.
Thank you. 